I just couldn't resist making an old-fashioned phone call from a street booth or box. Of course it didn't work, it's 21st century after all. But this town, if you look closely, is a mix of centuries past and present. Great architecture, beautifully restored and preserved, and some new architecture and art all nicely blended together. It's a morning, everyone is waking up, all the creatures great and small, people included. Where am I? This is Piet in Hungary. And I am sure I am butchering the name, so if anyone from Hungary watches, please forgive me. I am walking Kirali Street, which is one of the 12 streets that lead to the main square called Cheni Square. And again, I apologize to all Hungarians. This is ancient city in southern Hungary, close to the Croatian border, where I came from last night, and it was founded by the Romans. It is known for its architectural landmarks, which I will try to show you, at least some of them. The main reason I am visiting is that I was driving through Hungary and since I was in the neighborhood, I wanted to see the UNESCO World Heritage Site here. Yes, the city is recognized by UNESCO. And we will continue to the square in the historical center of the city. In the Middle Ages, it served as the marketplace of the town and I had a very good dinner last night in the Dubai kebab and I had, you guessed it, kebab and it was pretty good and we washed it down with Ayran which is not a Hungarian drink but it is from the Middle East, Turkey, somewhere there. It is salty, made from yogurt and is pretty refreshing and we can see many interesting and beautiful buildings here in the street gymnasium for example which is kind of an equivalent of the high school in the US but at a higher level because you don't get there automatically when you are 15 or so you have to pass some entrance tests and only a minority of children become gymnasium students in Europe while in the US everyone goes to high school or drops out no matter your skill level also we can see a magnificent opera house at least i think it is an opera house or some or for some performing arts in general the building is just beautiful and they are getting it ready obviously and we are almost at the end of the street leading to the square and here we go the square is just ahead of us Let's look at the street art. If you have a problem with me, call me. If you don't have my number, that means you don't know me. You don't know me well enough to have a problem. Okay. And Consulate of Albania. Bela Bartok, famous composer. Hungarian composer, 1881-1945. Kirali Street, one of the most important streets of the city today. King Street, Kirali Utka, was established in the Middle Ages, leading from the center of the city to the Buddha Gate. And here is a statue of some historical figure on a horse. And I will walk around this square and just have a look. Beautiful old barometer and thermograph from 1908. So imagine that, more than a hundred years old. Very beautiful. Okay, what does it say on the church? Sebastiano M. Sacrata and so on. So, I'm guessing Church of Saint Sebastian. Loose translation. Well, that's what I think it is. 
and I think I'll go in the Church of St. Sebastian right now. There is a mass in progress. Very interesting statue. A man standing on top of a snake. Is it supposed to be Jesus Christ or humanity, symbol of humanity? A museum, Chontuari Museum, closed. It's Monday. Oh my, oh my, so many padlocks. September 21, 99. Another one engraved. Symbol of unbroken or unbreakable love. I wonder how many of them are still together. Persistent rain, uh, it's a pain to walk around with the camera in the rain, it gets wet but it's really a peaceful sound of rain and it's fun to walk. World UNESCO Heritage Site, it's closed, it's Monday but there is something, some ruins, very old ruins, you cannot see much really protected by glass. Let's just walk in. We'll see what we will see. This is the famous cathedral which started as a basilica actually in 1064 AD after a fire destroyed a basilica. King of Hungary started construction of the cathedral on the same site and it was completed in the 12th century. In the 16th century Turkish conquerors converted it into a mosque and when Hungarians regained control of the city in 1686 the structure was reinstated as a church. So let's go around, let's see what is in the back. Oh, and if I see clearly this looks like statues of 12 apostles. Let's have a closer look. And yes, indeed, it's 12 of them. Peter is here and other ones that I remember. I couldn't name all 12 of them if my life depended on it, but I do know some of them. Anyway, going back to the Basilica, in 1990, Pope John Paul II visited the cathedral. Here is the official entrance to the UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can see the sign and the plague here and it says the early Christian necropolis and so on. But as I keep getting reminded it's Monday, everything's closed, so no such luck. But there are some people and we asked them and they said no you cannot really go inside but you can be here uh, right behind the entrance close to the cashier's desk and you can just look. So that's what we did. We did see some ruins but basically if you don't know really much and cannot really look around it's not that uh, meaningful. So after a while um, the visit is over and we will just get out and continue. So finally my luck turned a little bit. I have decided to look if there is another entrance to the cathedral and indeed it is. So let's go in. And it really is magnificent. Just look at the walls, look at the ceiling. It's just very, very beautiful. Someone is practicing on the organ, at least that's what I think, because I don't see any priest here, I don't see any people here, there is no mass or any religious event whatsoever, practicing and the music is just beautiful. So I will let you listen and uh, I will say goodbye, thank you very much and see you next time, bye bye.